traveling from England's north and headed to day one on the job. These new MPs are a big factor in the decisive Tory victory. It's a bit surreal, it's like it's actually happening and here we are and we can get these things done. It's a lot of pressure, it's a bit daunting, but I think we're all just really excited to get in there and get started. More than 100 new Conservative members, many turned long-held Labour seats blue on election night. The Labour vote in working-class post-industrial areas has collapsed. So it's exactly those blue-collared areas the Tories the targeted England, so aggressively. Russia. The North, the Midlands and Wales, where voters felt they weren't being heard. The signs there that they might change their allegiance and on election night they did and it became clear there was a pretty f profound realignment going on in British politics. Congratulations. Congratulations. At Westminster this evening, a warm welcome from the Prime Minister for the rookie roster. We must repay the trust of the electorate. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Now it's time for Johnson to deliver on the promises these candidates made during the campaign. For the second time in just over two months, the Queen will lay out the government's agenda on Thursday. And it will likely include money for the things that matter to new Tory voters, like health care, says this conservative-leaning researcher. They're planning to put the increases in NHS funding into law. They're planning to take serious action on uh, kind of uh, serious and repeat criminals. They're planning to make sure that Brexit gets delivered. To make it happen, the Brexit withdrawal bill will be back before Parliament as early as Friday. This time, it's expected to pass. As for the Labour Party, infighting continues over who and what's to blame for its disastrous result. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn is on his way out, and the party will finalize details to replace him in the new year. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, London.